This is me and my mate Liam, 1300 metres above sea level, about to zipline through the mountains of Bovec on our final day in Slovenia. But first, let me tell you the story about how this spontaneous trip to the best country in the world came about. So having just touched down from a one month trip to Vietnam, I decided I wanted to carry on traveling. So I messaged my mate and said, let's go to Slovenia next week. And within the hour, we had it booked. Following a two hour flight from Liverpool to Venice and then another three hour bus journey to Slovenia, we arrived in the beautiful capital city that is Ljubljana. Not long after arriving in Ljubljana, we realized that we had a two week trip in Slovenia ahead of us and not a clue what we wanted to do, apart from check out Lake Bled again. We were actually so unprepared that we forgot to book our first night in the hostel, but then we soon realized that this laid back approach to traveling was going to be perfect for this trip. After spending three days exploring everything the capital had to offer from the castle, the amazing viewpoint, the incredible food and drink, and not forgetting the zoo and a Slovenian football match. <laughs> It was time to hop on a bus to Lake Bled. As this was the second time to Bled for both me and Liam, we both knew what to expect, but somehow we both ended up being blown away once more by the amazing town that is Bled. We spent our first day doing all the typical touristy things, hiking the viewpoint, rowing to the island and trekking to the very, very impressive Vitgard Gorge. The following morning over a cup of coffee on the balcony of our hostel, we were deciding where to go next, having only initially booked two nights in the hostel in Lake Bled, and then what was to follow would change our trip completely. We met an incredible group of people, from fellow backpackers to hostel workers to bar owners within Lake Bled. We met some of the coolest people around and we are still friends with all of them to this day. Over the following week, we had a wide range of experiences from checking out the less traveled Lake Bohinge. Taking the Vogel cable car up to an abandoned ski resort. stumbling across many random off the beaten path treks through forests that ultimately led to some of the most spectacular waterfalls I've ever seen.
to some of the less expected experiences like stumbling across a random Slovenian birthday party, walking in being the only tourist in there and being made to feel completely welcome and spending the entire night there and meeting some of the most incredible local Slovenian people who again we are still friends with to this day. To going on walks around the lake at 2am with people from the hostel just to chill out and just talk about our travels. And we even had a traditional Slovenian meal in a local's house in the middle of the forest on one of our treks. We just could not have imagined that the trip would have turned out this way. One week later and we came to the realisation that we only had three and a bit days left of our trip but that was still enough time for one more spontaneous trip to somewhere else in Slovenia. So we packed our bags and said a very emotional goodbye to all the friends we had made in the hostel over that past week and then headed to the train station. And when I say headed, I mean run. Having just made the train, we then had a very long journey to the northwestern town of Slovenia called Bovec, near the Italian border. Two trains, two buses, and a minivan ride later, and we had arrived. We were literally the only tourists in the town, and it was very telling from the locals' reaction when we stepped off the bus. They looked shocked, but also thrilled to see some tourists, and one of them even said, why Bovec? And to be honest, the answer to that was very, very simple. Bovec is a hidden gem tucked away from the regular tourist route in Slovenia with incredible landscapes, impressive waterfalls, and of course, zip lining. Now you're probably expecting some epic GoPro zip lining footage, but there isn't any. And you know what? I'm glad because that was the last spontaneous decision we made on this trip, literally two hours before we had to catch a bus back to Ljubljana. We just seen an advert for ziplining and we thought, do you know what, let's just do it. So we left all of our belongings at the hostel. The only thing we took with us was one phone between the group of us and that memory, that photo, that's all we have from that experience. But what we also have is the memory and we can only share that in the group and that is the way travel should be the memories that you get to keep forever. So after the zip line and we faced a six hour bus ride back to Ljubljana for one more day before we all had to go separate ways as me and Liam were heading back home via Venice and everyone else carried on with their travels. And here we are now looking back on the footage seven months later and I can safely say without any shadow of a doubt that that was my favorite trip I've ever been on. And you're probably wondering why? It's because of Slovenia. <laughs> 